You know, there's so many different things that we have to be concerned about. The older that we get, you know, when it has to do with uh, protecting our estate, protecting uh, uh, any of our property, or protecting ourselves. So we decided to bring in one of the experts, been on the show many, many times here, Danny Mayhone with Mayhone Elder Law. How are you? It's good to see you again. Good to see you again. Now, uh, you probably have seen him numerous occasions when we've uh, had our WLOX senior fairs. So you're always there for that. And uh, so. Talk about, if you would, why choose you and what are the different fields that you, uh, that you do cover? <clears throat> sure. Well, one of the things is that we're one of the few firms in the state that focus primarily on elder law issues. Elder law issues being estate planning, um, Medicaid planning, long-term care planning, veterans benefits, special needs. What I say is that we focus our practice on seniors, those with disabilities, and their families. And so we can't help people with various aspects of the law. But what we can help them with are the elder law issues. And that's one of the important things, too. I mean, you do, do as you said, uh, you, there are different law firms. They'll, they'll do this and this and this and this and this, whereas you kind of keep it all into one little tight niche there. So, you know, you specialize with that. And, you, and things change all the time. I mean, there's always changes in the law or whatever. I mean, as far as, you know, what, you, uh, you're, what is protected under Medicare or Medicaid, uh, what you need to do. Should you do a will? Should you do a trust? Should you do a living trust? And those are all a, a lot of different things to take into consideration. Um, and I guess we really, I mean, people may think, I need to wait until I'm older. But that's not necessarily true. No, um, waiting until you're older sometimes closes certain doors that you can't open again. Um, what we try to do is integrate people's legal, financial, and personal care needs into a comprehensive plan to take care of them. Um, and then if they can't be protected anymore, how do we protect their families? And so um, what are their goals? What are their objectives? What are they trying to accomplish? And that can start in your 20s uh, all the way through till death. Um, I tell people you should start doing estate planning when you start thinking about it because by then it's probably a little late. Um, we have different goals and objectives when we're 24 versus 74. Right. So what is it you're trying to accomplish? And just because I have a will in place today doesn't mean it will still do what I want it to do in 15 years or in five years. So um, they should take a look at whatever their estate plan is and update it accordingly. Anytime there's a major life event, a birth, a death, a marriage, a divorce, anything like that, um, because things change. And so as that changes, anything you're putting into place needs to be adaptable to those changes. Well, let's talk uh, about the difference, one thing, between wills and living trusts. There is a difference between those two. Yes. Um, a will is basically uh, a letter to the judge. Which a lot of people can just go online and fill one of those out. Sure. Um, there are ones online. You can buy them in certain stores. Um, but does it do what you want it to do? Um, the form doesn't answer questions for you typically, and that's where the advice of counsel can come in. Um, I have lots of clients come to see me and they say, well, I'm not sure what I need. And that's great. You're not an attorney. You're not supposed to know what you need. Come and tell me what you're trying to accomplish. Let's talk about what your goals are. And then I can look at my vast array uh, of tools to find out what's the right tool for the job to accomplish your goals. Because with proper planning, we can do a lot of different things. We can protect children, we can protect spouses, we can protect families. But without the planning, it could all be at risk. And the, uh, one of the major things, too, is protecting the property that you've worked so hard to, you know, to get you know, your entire life. And a lot of people, as you mentioned, uh, at an early age, it's, you know, when you start thinking about it, you start accumulating some property at an early age, and you might want to think of, you know, what if something happens to me, unfortunately, uh, at an early age, you hear of people, uh, you know, sadly losing their lives at a young age accidentally. What happens to their property? What happens to them? Right, and it's all dictated by their estate plan. If they have a will in place, if they have a trust, if they don't have anything, do they have it jointly with someone else? Do they have it in what's called a life estate? How is it set up? So those are the reasons um, that it's not just as simple as everyone needs a will. We don't know that. Um, and until I sit down and discuss it with them or they sit down with their counsel and talk to that person to find out what is it that they're trying to accomplish and is it already set up? They may not need anything. They may already be good to go. But if there are holes or shortcomings, then we can identify those and help people um, address them to their satisfaction. What are some of the issues dealing with Medicare and Medicaid that people should be aware of, to be concerned with? Sure. The first is the difference in the two. 
Um, Medicare is a program created by the feds and administered by the federal government. And so it covers certain things like hospital stays. What we say is if you can recover from it, it's probably covered by Medicare. Medicare doesn't necessarily care how much you have or what your assets are. They care did you contribute to the program and did you reach the age that's qualifying. Right now, 65. For Medicare, Medicare is a needs-based program, which means you have to m meet the needs requirement for it. Mm -hmm. They are concerned about what your assets are, what your income is, and there are many programs under the Medicaid umbrella. Um, the one I focus mainly on is the long-term care aspect of it, which is nursing home care. Many people are surprised to know that Medicare doesn't cover long-term care costs in a nursing home or assisted living facility, for example. Um, Medicaid may cover the cost in a long-term care facility like a nursing home, but you have to meet their eligibility requirements, which can be very strict. And that is where the question of, will they take my home, or do I have too much, right, or my assets right. protected, comes into play. And that's one of the big things, too, when it comes to, uh, um, you know, if someone is in uh, long-term uh, nursing home or something like that, one of the friends, what, can I lose my home? Can I lose my property to, to pay for this? And their families worried about that, too. Right. And what we tell people is without proper planning, everything is at risk for the cost of long-term care. Well, we've got a couple of minutes left. Let's talk about uh, veterans benefits, if you would. Sure. When it comes to VA benefits, a lot of people know if they served and retired, there are certain benefits they're entitled to. If while they were on active duty, they were injured, there are certain benefits they're entitled to. What many aren't aware of is there's a special program under the Veterans Administration called the Pension Benefit. And that has several things with it. But if you are meet their requirements, it's a needs-based program as well. You may be entitled to assistance tax-free from the VA in the form of a check to assist you with your long-term care needs. Mm -hmm. So um, that's one of the things that we can help people ascertain. Is it right for them? Again, what are they trying to accomplish and how best can we meet their needs? And of course, the best thing that you can probably do is to uh, give them a call, your office in Ocean Springs, mm -hmm. and uh, set up an appointment with you and come in for a consultation and uh, you know, sit down and lay things out for them and find out exactly what it is. And one of the things, too, we'll come back on another date and talk about is that you do have, uh, uh, we've got about 30 seconds left, but uh, during the course of the year, you have seminars in different areas of the Gulf Coast, and uh, you can find information on that on your website. That's right. Or they can call and we'll tell them the next workshop that we're having. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us. Danny Mayho with Mayho and Elder Law in Ocean Springs. Of course, uh, if you'd like some more information, you have got the, uh, the uh, phone number that are on your screen. You also have the website there. And give them a call. I'd like to set up an appointment and protect yourself, protect your loved ones, because, um, you know, what you have is, well, you want to protect that for as long as you can.